how do you know what offer the banks will take? Mike Wrigley, Certified Default Advocate, Distressed Property Expert, and your short sale specialist here. So often, buyers and sellers looking at short sales on the MLS or other, other public sites will see short sale property listed well below fair market value of similar properties in the area. The question usually is, will the bank really take that low price for the property? And if not, why did the agent price it so low? And the answer is really pretty straightforward. Pricing strategy on a short sale truly depends on a number of things. First and foremost is where are you in the foreclosure process? If there's an auction date set in less than 21 days, the price will be very aggressive because we know that the banks will not talk to us until we have an offer signed by both buyer and seller. No offer, no sale date postponement. No sale date postponement, the property is going to foreclosure. So in that case, we'll price the property very aggressively. The second item that plays most into the equation is the condition of the property. Is it financeable? Does it need repairs? Does it have to be a cash sale? And the third biggest contributor is who owns the note. Is it a Fannie or a Freddie? Is it VA or FHA backed? Is it a portfolio or investor owned loan? The difference is being is that each investor expects a minimum return on the short sale for them to, to, for them to go ahead and approve the short sale. Lastly, it's the listing agent and their experience. We always want to get as close to fair market value as possible for the property. And when we say fair market value, we take condition and location into account. If the property needs a lot of repairs, then we're going to discount the price based on what it's going to take to bring the property up to FHA standards. Our experience tells us that Fannie, Freddie, FHA, and VA all have a percentage of fair market value that they required net to approve the short sale. We also know that an investor loses about 25 to 30 percent more on a foreclosure than they do on a short sale, even if the property is sold for the exact same price. We use a short sale calculator, which takes a number of values into account to tell you, tell us exactly what that price is, so that we can price the property as fairly as possible. We want to get the offer that's going to get approved and uh, accepted and approved, and most importantly, closed. As always, with the banks, it's about the money. From the bank's perspective, where will they lose the least amount of money, short sale or foreclosure? If they lose less on a short sale, they're going to accept the short sale. If they're going to lose less on a foreclosure, they're going to foreclose, pure and simple. Pricing is important. It's important that you work with an agent that has a lot of experience in short sales and understands how to get them done and what the bank will, will, will accept. If you've ever wondered, how long it will take for your house to be worth what you currently owe, log into www.loanmodandshortsale.info. Enter your information in there, you'll get, a, you'll get an email with the results, or you can just give me a call for a free no obligation consultation. Call me today, sleep better tonight, you'll be glad you did. And thanks for calling us.